Are you still paying for whiteboarding software in 2024? Now there are a lot of great paid options out there, but what we've found is that these features are starting to be bundled in with other applications. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from automationhelpers.com and we help businesses like yours get up and running on tools like SmartSuite and integrated to your business applications. Take the SmartSuite work management platform, for example. They're already known for their collaboration features with features such as Smart Docs, which are Notion-esque documents, a communication center for adding comments and emails on records, robust task management for working with your team, and a member directory for getting to know your teammates and see what they're working on. SmartSuite's new whiteboarding feature has been released on all of their plans, including the free one. So if you haven't gotten started yet with SmartSuite, you can do so with the link in the description below. The new whiteboard feature is part of the Smart Doc. So we can click a slash here and we'll search for whiteboard. And this is going to open up our whiteboard and diagramming tool. Across the top, we can click and drag on different arrows and different objects that we want to be a part of our process diagrams that we create. There's lots of styling options that we can see on the left-hand side to configure how we want this to appear. Do we want it to look more hand-drawn or be a little bit more professional? Most of the power users I know of different whiteboarding applications like using their keyboard because it can be a little bit cumbersome to always be using your mouse to drag and drop everything around. Now, if you click the question mark on your keyboard, this opens up all of these different keyboard shortcuts so you can work on editing your diagrams in a way that works best for you. There are crazy powerful features when it comes to this whiteboarding tool. What if I want to inject text into this dynamically? So I could, of course, add my own text and diagram that out, but let me click on these options up here and I can embed a record field. So let's say we were doing a document and it was gonna be an onboarding process for our client. We could put an onboarding date here. And so this automatically fills in the data that we need because this is associated with a record. So what I can do is I can create one diagram for an onboarding process and it will automatically embed it with the right data that I need so that I don't have to actually create a brand new diagram every single time. That January 29th onboarding date is taken from the record itself. So if I click out of here, I can see that that onboarding date is from January 29th. When I go back into the Smart Doc, you can see that I've got a preview of my diagram here. So if we're writing some text around this, we can have this directly in context, but if we need to edit this and make some changes, no problem. I can just double click and we're back in our editor. Now, I don't know about you, but I love when we can save and reuse components. So if I select these objects on my screen, I can go ahead to my library and we can save this. You can see this is now part of my personal library. So if I've created a document elsewhere inside of SmartSuite, I can simply click and this will be able to add on any of those components. I can drag these around and make any adjustments that I need to. But the fun doesn't stop there. There's a really popular diagramming language called Mermaid. So one of the things I can do in these advanced settings is that I can click on this Mermaid to Excaladraw and I can describe using this kind of language what kind of diagram I want to generate. So by using just a few simple words here, what kind of process I want, it actually creates this for us and we can inject it automatically. So if you are a process wonk, it's gonna be super helpful that you can now generate these diagrams. There's also a free website called Excaladraw where people upload their own libraries of icons and you can download these and use these in your own diagrams. So for example, if we're doing a technical diagram, maybe I'm searching for AWS Amazon here and I can download this to my computer. And then back in my library, I can open this up with my file picker and we can import this library of icons. So now we can use them in our drawings and we don't have to create all of this from scratch. Well, some of you might be thinking, well, this is great if you're inside a smart suite, but how do we get the data out of this so that we can visualize it even if users are outside of the smart suite ecosystem? And here we can simply click in the upper left hand corner and export our image. We have some different settings here so we can include a background or not. We can even toggle on or off dark mode. We can do an embedding here if we want it so it contains kind of the metadata behind it if we need to export that. Choose the scale and we can even choose if we want to copy to the clipboard or do an SVG or PNG export. And you've got the option to take that data and save it as your own Excaladraw file. So you can save it to a file, load it on your desktop, and you can share this with others who might be using other kinds of applications. Hopefully you can see just how powerful SmartSuite's new whiteboarding feature is. If you have any questions about your own SmartSuite setup, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.